inside the White House. What changes are Trump and his wife making? This is the roof, the solarium on top of the White House. You can see the Washington Monument. Obama used to face Mecca. What's Trump doing now? He's trying to get rid of that Obama smell in the treaty room, the private residence hallway, the formal family dining room. And I'm wondering, what did the Obamas talk about during dinner? They might have talked about the Bush years, how beautiful the Oval Office looked. The beautiful couches, beautiful rug. But when Obama showed up, he decided, eh, how am I going to ruin this like I ruin everything else? You see this sofa and these curtains, nice rug. First thing Obama did was chuck the rug, and he put in this communist message around the rim rug, this uh, we are the world, uh, it takes a village rug. And then he put up his uh, feet up on top of the desk and said, hey, well, how can I ruin these curtains behind my head? Oh, let's pull those down and put up these rust-colored, crap-colored curtains. And to finish everything off, let's take a uh, corduroy velour couch from suburban Illinois, from Skokie, out of uh, Grandma's basement, and stick it in the middle of the Oval Office. So uh, to give a real Wayne's World kind of vibe to the Oval Office and to please our, uh, our uh, Muslim friends from the Third World, because they'll feel more at home with this cruddy decor. So here you have two losers with the uh, crappy couch and the crappy curtains hanging out. Then... Something changed. Somebody got inaugurated, and a new day shined on the White House. Trump showed up. First thing Trump did was put the Churchill statue, the bust of Churchill, back in the Oval Office because Obama had exiled it elsewhere. The second thing Trump did was say, hey, uh, what's with Obama's crappy curtains? What happened to uh, Clinton's curtains? He had nice curtains. Oh, Hillary picked those out for Bill when they were in the White House? Well, pull them out of storage. Let's hang those back up. Those are more, those are more Trump-esque. They remind me of Mar-a-Lago. And, oh, is that the piece of paper I'm going to sign? The first thing I'm signing to dump Obama's legacy in the garbage? Yeah, let's sign a few of those. Trump really had a good time when he started yanking down the Obama family photos off the walls of the Oval Office, the hallway just outside. Then he went after Obama's baby pictures. He started throwing those in a cardboard box. Obama at birth, or B Obama in his mother's arms. Obama as a toddler, dressed for the mosque on, uh, you know, Tuesday morning services at the mosque. Obama and Michelle as children. Trump chucked these in a cardboard box, put them out back of the White House so Obama could pick them up. And Trump went after the other pictures of his, uh, some of his predecessors, some of Michelle's bachelorette party, Michelle's college photo. And Trump started signing a few uh, executive orders. This one's uh, Rosie O'Donnell, banned from fast food establishments. Trump ended the all-gender, all transgender restroom in the basement of the White House that Obama used to hang out in drunk. Then Trump ordered that all liberals must now drink from separate water fountains. Then Trump kicked back and said, well, what did I forget? What have I forgotten? Well, maybe we should add a few touches just to pay some respect to Obama. So he added this uh, America's pastime photo at the White House entrance because kids come, kids come through on tours, school trips. He added this, remind folks that, you know, Hillary almost won. And he honored our American Indian heritage Native Americans, with a bit of uh, Focahontas. And to top it all off, just for laughs, he put a photo of his best friend up on the wall to greet tourists. And Trump gave a heartfelt laugh that could be heard for miles. One thing Trump missed, in the White House basement, in a dark corner, this portrait hangs of Hillary. Some folks feel it gives them the creeps. It's a spooky portrait, because when they walk by, it feels like her eyes follow you. If you listen closely, you can hear, I have Parkinson's. I'm a kook. I've fallen and I can't get up. Subscribe to Barry Sotoro channel. Share this segment. It remains to be seen. Will Trump build the wall? What else will Trump order Rosie O'Donnell to do? Will Trump hose down the Muslim protesters? Meanwhile, as libtards freak out, I lean back and laugh in their face.